Mm-hmm. Agree. Mm-hmm. Okay. But the difference is ko ko is answer for question. Zero for an answer. When someone, when somebody asks you question, mm-hmm. for example, remember the uh, class number fourteen. I asked you that. Do you want to eat? Translate into Vietnamese like Anh có ăn cơm không? Or in previous lesson we learned about Tôi mệt, tôi đói So I asked you Are you tired? It means uh, Anh có mệt không? And then you answer có So có is you mainly to answer the question when someone question you so vâng is using for an answer polite to respect to respect the older people <coughs> for example the mother Um, tell you go to do some gardeners and you say that vâng and the teacher say something you say vâng and um, uh, in the meeting that the big spot talk something to you you say vâng uh, answer for polite uh, with the respect Okay. Yep. So that's the difference. Even though both of them mean yes, agree, and okay. And yes. but for this agree, not okay, no. It's only one word, không. Không. That's it. It's no. Yes. It's no. Yeah. Okay. So now let uh, us practice some lips. Lips consonant first. So we have only five lips consonant. only five lip consonant lips consonant mean when we speak five letter we um, we seal our lips the lip will contact each other that's why we call it like lips consonant we seal the lip first and within five of them we have one word like the P, P, P. You see my lip is start with contact word. P, P. Uh, we don't have a meaning for that in Vietnamese. And some vowel, some consonant uh, cannot create a meaning or complete one word or sentence without together with other consonant or vowel. Therefore, we have the number one 
two, three, four, five. But this one cannot stay alone. We separate them because they are one of the letter in the alphabet. We have 29 letter in Vietnamese alphabet. So this one stay alone, no meaning. Therefore, we connect per with her and we have double consonant that we see a lot. You can see for, for is noodle or for is street, street on the street, for. So for is tone system number five, for tone system number three. And uh, you can see my lip and try to focus to hear the sound of it and see how my lip work. M, M. And I have example. Ma, Ma, Ma. Ming, Ming, Ming. The next one. B, B. I have example bố, bố, bố. And this one, the last lesson we have learned. Buổi, buổi, buổi. The two meaning here, noon, evening, morning, is not the original meaning of this one. Because the buổi is the same like bờ, cannot stay alone. Therefore, we have buổi sáng. Buổi chiều, buổi tối And next we have V V V Example we have V V V V V V Next F F F F F Phố, phố, last one, P. So let read after me. M. Mà. Very good. Mà. Mà. Wonderful. Minh. Minh. Good anh. B. Bố Bố Buổi Buổi Very good You have improved very good This is very very difficult word in Vietnamese We need to do uh, same time together And then the tone mark Make sure the lip consonant bờ bờ and then long vowel buổi next v <coughs> and we have v v <coughs> this one vâng vâng f f very good and uh, some air come from our mouth. You see, f, f, f. Yes, and we have f, f, f. Very good. And this one we have f, f. Yes, and p. Uh. Wonderful. So now it will read alone, and after that we will move to the double consonant. Ma, ma, min, b, b, bo. Yes. Why? Wonderful. B. 
ve lan ve ve uh, clear more clearly fa fa yeah dancing going down is the tone system number 5 heavy ya uh, fa Little, little bit play, little bit playing like body language. Fur. Next. Four. Very good. Four. Wonderful. So uh, sip some water. Have some water to keep uh, the strong throat. Also, the name of the person. Fang is stone this one thang are you okay yeah yeah and thứ is the day of the week last one we have giáo and giang shall we speak together Yes. Or maybe you can challenge yourself. You can speak it, right? You can say it, right? Good. We have ngồi. Yeah. Good. Ngồi. Good. Nga. Yes. Nga. Okay. Nga. Nga. Yeah. And next, this is a uh, nghiêng. Uh -huh. hmm? The second line. Uh, forget about the first word. Okay, we just uh, okay. Yeah, talk the syllable. Nghiêng. Nghiêng. This one, nghe. Nghe. Yes. Next. Chờ. 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 Yeah. We skip the Chờ. first one. We don't. We don't practice the first one. Okay. We go okay. straight to the example. Okay. okay? Chờ. Yeah. Cha. No, 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 we still have one word more. Chan. Chan. Yes. Chan. Cha. Chan. Yes. This will be the uh, Cha and uh, Tra. Yes. And this one, Chang. Okay. Cha. Chan. Yes, yeah. good. And next, four. Good. Next, on. Yeah. And down here, tan. And this one, tu. Thứ. 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 Uh, the vowel u. So we we um. We uh, practice that can see our teeth. U, U, remember that vowel. U. The vowel is U. Not U, it's U. So therefore, yes, we call it like Thứ, Thứ, Thứ. Thứ. Yep. And last one. Zhao. And? Next. Yeah. Yes. So the lesson today a little bit uh, hard, um, but we done well. Thank you for the effort. Before we finish the class today, I would like to give you a, a one new sentence.
hôm nay hôm nay anh sẽ làm gì hôm nay anh sẽ làm gì today today is hôm nay Two syllable, one meaning. Hôm nay, anh is you. Sẽ is will. Làm is do. Z is what. So, translate. Hôm nay anh sẽ So translate into English What? Hôm nay anh sẽ làm gì? Yeah, what win? Ew do for today today the different thing is between english and vietnamese this one go that way and english go opposite Yes. Good. And then you will write down, for example, today I do garden, I do exercise, I uh, reading, study Vietnamese, and cooking the food for my dog, and do some work for the tour, something like that. And uh, to able to do that one in next lesson, I will give you new vocabulary and the structure of the sentence, okay? And then we'll work on that. And we continue the story of visiting Vietnamese family. Because we was at the point that we sit down and having a tea, right? And after that, well, the grandmother will come and you will... Uh, talk to grandmother and talk to the kid and then the family cook a uh, different yummy dishes and then we can have conversation about that one okay so remember this one hôm nay anh sẽ làm gì also common question uh, the same like nice to meet you how are you what will you do today okay so cool. How do you say how are you in Vietnamese? Em Em cô quê không? Yes. And also, very good and also, how do you say what is your name? How do you say in Vietnamese what is your name? Tôi là Bây Chi Oh my god, uh, yes But I don't know how to ask, know how to say it. Yes, I will remind oh, you no. next time yeah. So thank you so much For the time For the class today I wish you a wonderful day See you next time Em cùng Cảm ơn anh Hẹn gặp lại Hẹn gặp lại